What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to add a server icon to your Apex server. Before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial we upload, just like this one. Since Minecraft version 1.7.2, Server owners have been given the ability to further customize the look of their server in the multiplayer server list in-game. One very important feature that was added is the ability to customize the icon that will display next to their server. This is an ideal way to make servers more recognizable in the server list. With thousands of servers and the vast majority of players having an extensive server list, a server icon is very important in order to stand out and be recognizable. While it may seem like a fairly simple concept, there are a few things to keep in mind to make sure the icon is working properly on the server. In this guide, we're going to walk you through how you can prepare and upload the server icon to your Apex Minecraft server. For starters, a server icon must follow three simple rules to be used on a Minecraft server. One, the icon must be 64 by 64 pixels in size. And then the icon must be named server-icon. And the icon must be in a .png format. So in full, the name of the file will be server-icon.png. To check the size of your icon, you're going to want to do the following. You're going to want to head to the folder that the icon is at, right-click the image, and then select Properties. From Properties, go ahead and select the Details tab to view the dimensions. And you're going to see here that my file is 64 by 64 pixels in size. For Mac, it's a little bit different. You're going to want to right-click the image and select Get Info. The dimensions will be listed under the More Info section. If your image is not currently 64 by 64 pixels, there are simple ways you can convert the dimensions. We recommend using Simple Image Resizer. You can search this up on Google or type simpleimageresizer.com in your browser. Once you're on the Simple Image Resizer website, go ahead and click Select Image and find the icon you want to use. Once you open up that folder, go ahead and click Open when you select your file. Once it's open, you're going to want to select the Dimensions option instead of Percentage and enter 64 for the width and 64 for the height, and then click Resize. After a few seconds, you're going to see a green box pop up with the Download button. Go ahead and click that to get a new page with the resized icon. On this page, simply right click the image and then select Save Image As. Your server icon may not be following the proper naming conventions or file format at this point. If this is the case, you're going to want to fix that when saving the resized image. If the Save As type shows any other format than PNG image, you're going to want to click the drop down and select All Files. You're going to then want to enter the name you save it as to be server-icon.png. If the save as type is already PNG, then just set the name to server-icon. Once this is complete, you're going to have successfully resized, renamed, and formatted the image to work on your server. All we need to do now is upload the image directly to our server's files. Our first step in uploading our properly sized named, and formatted image to our server, we'll be heading to the control panel and stopping said server. Once the server stopped, you can head to the left of the game panel and navigate to the FTP file access tab. Once you're in that tab, go ahead and log in using your panel password. To the left of the panel, you're going to see a button that says Upload. Click this, and then once you're on the Upload page, go ahead and open up the folder where your file is and then click and drag it to the upload part of the page. Once you see the image reach 100% and uploaded one out of one files, you can head back to the main panel page by clicking on the name of your server at the top of the page. And once you're back there, just go ahead and feel free to start or restart your server. Now that your server started up and it's fully uploaded with the correct size, name, and format, you're going to see it when you ping the server in the multiplayer server list. One common issue that may occur during this process is the server list or server needing to be refreshed or the image not showing up when you refresh. 
If you're not seeing the image displayed in your Minecraft server list, you're going to want to be sure that you've restarted the server after uploading, as well as a refresh in the server list in game. If it's still not showing, you can also try deleting the server from the server list and re adding the server to the server list in game. If it once again doesn't show, then you've likely encountered another issue. One other issue that may occur is the incorrect name when uploading the file. Sometimes, if you're renaming the file after it has already been uploaded, you might find that it isn't correct, since the file format, in this case PNG, is included on the name of the panel, you might want to forget to include it when renaming the file server-icon. Just be sure to double check that the icon looks like the following image. Another error that may occur is having the incorrect size for your image. See, the image may not be displayed or may be displayed incorrectly due to it being too large or too small. You can check the image dimensions on your PC in most cases by right-clicking the image and selecting Properties. Once this window is open, you can then head to the Details tab to see the image dimensions. Anything other than 64 pixels in width and height will not work on the server. If the image doesn't have the correct dimensions, then you can head to the simpleimageresizer.com website to fix that. Well, folks, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you for using an Apex server, and I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.